today I'm going to be sharing with you a Dollar Tree haul and a little DIY at the end, so definitely stick around to see that. So I went to the Dollar Tree last week and um, it was in a nicer area, so I was hoping to find some really great stuff. There are just a few things that I still have not found, but it is fun to keep searching for them. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. You can click this button right here. That way you'll be able to know when I post up new videos. I post new videos twice a week usually and I always try to post a DIY once a week. Definitely give this video a thumbs up if you like Dollar Tree hauls with the DIY. If you'd rather see them separate, let me know in the comments. If you'd rather not see one or the other, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely do that for you. So I got a few things. It's not a really big haul, but I wanted to share them with you because I was kind of excited about some of these. So I guess I'll just get right into it. So the first thing that I found at the Dollar Tree, I picked up because, why else do I pick things up? Because I saw my friend Sarah from Sensational Finds, who's like amazing at Dollar Tree hauls. She had this and she wore it when she went on her little vacation with her family and it's this super cute little like fedora style hat. But me with my monstrous head, uh, I definitely got my dad's head and uh, it doesn't fit, it's too small. But for a dollar I was like, well that's fine. I tried it on in the store and I thought it fit, but it didn't. So it's just a fun hat for Rikaika to use now. It's super cute. If you have a smaller, normal woman sized head, then I definitely say to go get it because it's great and you don't have to worry about it flying off and you losing it because it was just a dollar. The next thing we bought was this styrofoam cooler with the lid. It's a really nice size. It's nice and skinny. I don't know if you can see that. It's probably a little bit too bright. It's nice and tall also, so you can fit like tall drinks in there. But I thought I would get this because we're gonna be going on a road trip soon and I can just Keep this in the front of my car without taking up too much space because I have a small car and this was just a dollar so why not then I picked up two different types of bread I was really actually I, I never noticed that there was bread at the Dollar Tree before um, but this loaf is pretty much almost gone it's the nature zone butter bread and I was really shocked to see this at the Dollar Tree. Nature Zone is like a pretty decent brand when it comes to bread. I've never tried this butter bread before. It was real. It's really good. I love it for toast and sandwiches. I mean, it's a little bit sweeter, so that's really nice. But for a bucky, that's just amazing. And I also needed some hamburger buns because I was making sloppy joes. And for a dollar, like you can't beat dollar a dollar for bread, even at Costco like it's dollar it's always a dollar something so this is like a really good ride and it's Wonder Bread like geez. the next thing that I picked up was again inspired by my friend Sarah from Sensational Finds it's these alphabet letters in what is this animal print there are 52 I believe there's a whole set of capital and a whole set of lowercase and they're super cute they're kind of like squishy stickers I thought I would use them for my planner I also found this super pretty color of purple it's like a lavender color this brand I have no idea diamond cosmetics who knows it, as long as it doesn't smell strong I think I'm gonna love it because the color is so pretty okay, not much color okay yeah. The next thing that I found was this multi-purpose bandana, and again, this is inspired by Miss Sensational Find Sarah. <laughs> I mean, why do I buy anything at the Dollar Tree if it's not for Sarah? And it's got all these different kinds of ways to use this thing, but I thought it would be a cute headband. Sarah tied it somehow and made it kind of like a turban looking headband, but I just thought, why not? It's a dollar for some stretchy um, leopard print fabric. I also saw a lot of people talking about these pens. I think they're these pens. They're the Fashion Stick Vented Cap ballpoint pens in different colors. I'm gonna be going to Maui soon and traveling. I don't really wanna take my nice felt tip pens with me, but I wanna be able to still plan in my planner with colors. So I bought these because I've heard good things. We shall see. I watched the moms, no. The What's Up Moms video on those giant bubbles, which if you haven't seen it, I will link it below. It's an amazing recipe. The bubbles are huge. And you needed a cotton twine or something like that for the string to make the bubbles. So I bought one of these. I figured I could use it for lots of different things. And that's all. So I guess that's all. everything that I got from the Dollar Tree. I might have picked up a couple of other things. I'm not really sure. And now let's just go ahead and get into the really quick DIY. And yeah. 
We're gonna use the multi-purpose bandana from Dollar Tree for three different uses. If you're ever worried about your kids smushing their fingers in between the doors, or slamming doors on your kids' fingers, this is a trick for you. Just take the head wrap and hook it around one side of the doorknob, twist it over, and hook it onto the other side of the doorknob, and you've got yourself this protection. If you flip it around twice, it's even better because it makes a bulkier stop, which leaves more room in between the door and the door frame. So this way it'll just bounce off and not hurt your kid's fingers. The second one is a really quick wall art and all you're gonna do is wrap a piece of canvas or you could use cardboard or whatever with this head wrap. And there you go, I kinda put it in the back with some pictures around it and I think it looks really cute. You could use this anywhere in your house, it'd look really cute in a girl's room. The last way to use this is by taking an old or ugly lampshade and covering it. This actually fit perfectly over my lampshade and it just changes the whole way that the lamp looks. So if you have an old looking lamp, this is the way to go. But again, that was my really quick small Dollar Tree haul. If you like these kinds of videos, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely make more of them for you. I guess that's all and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe.